when I first joined the art department, we were in eight separate buildings across campus. Photography were in temporary buildings that were put up, kind of like Quonset huts, that they used for a variety of courses over the years. It was a parking lot there now, but it was called the Mechanical Arts Building. And they had the, all the commercial art classes there. They had some of the art history classes in Old Main. They had a dark room, I believe, set up in the biology building on the quad. And we took drawing and painting as well as ceramics and sculpture in the art barn. I was in the same room, in fact, that Adrian used to teach drawing. And then after that, they transferred us over to the Mechanical Arts Building. And I, I really liked that building. It's an old one. It could just it could be messy like this. Nobody seemed to care. We had a big door that you could lift up and you could take in cars or motorcycles as props. John was at one end of the room teaching advertising and graphic design. I was at the other end teaching illustration. We were still, it was a small faculty then, so it was very united. I felt like it would, we got along just great. Even though we were scattered, maybe that was a blessing. Maybe we were out of each other's hair. I don't know. The problem really was that we were sort of isolated from each other as a faculty. We didn't really know what other students were doing in other areas, and I think getting into the, the new building, we got to know each other a lot better, and we got to see what students you know, in other areas were doing. When we came into the new building, of course, everyone was excited about having a nice, clean space, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But there were things that I missed about the art barn, all leaks and all. The architect obviously never consulted with me. I, n I never saw the architect. I don't even know who the architect was. Never asked me any questions, which he should have, because I ended up with this lab, but the windows come almost down to the floor and they can see the model from the street. Talk about creating accidents. Yeah. Building itself, it was a great recruitment thing for us. Uh, you know, like people coming to see the art department, it was, it was all right there and the building was so functional, I think people were just in awe of it. Even though there were little debates now and then, I think all of the faculty had a true love for this art department and every one of them was doing everything they could to make it the strongest department possible. And that was the bottom line. Regardless of individual differences or anything else, this is our art department and we want to make it the best possible. It's not the building, it's the, it's the people. My first year here at Utah State, I was so lucky to have had a, this class with all these really super talented, great people in there, great students. I don't think the construction of these spaces matter that much. I think to someone on the outside, they look at it and they think that it's like a monument. It's like something prestigious. It's something they can all look at that building and say, oh, you know, that's a really cool building. They must have a great art department. But I think that the art produced here and the kinds of students that have been produced here would have been as good if they hadn't had this building. Because it's really about the people that were teaching here and about how good the students were and how hard they worked. I just think we had a super department great faculty. I think it's obvious because, you know, the success of our students is overwhelming. I'm just absolutely amazed at the, the success of some of the students that I've had.
they were all in the same room, the people who found it and worked so hard to make this program a success. I think that they would feel that we were doing it right. Yeah.